Hello guys, this is Jamie, I'm from forexbot.com and welcome back to our video examples on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So currently I'm spotting a bearish breakout through a bullish channel after price interaction with the 1.2860 resistance that is few times tested already and it's a strong resistance zone and for this reason I plan to immediately sell half lot of the British pound American dollar forex pair on the assumption that the price is initiating another bearish impulse. That was quick. Yeah, but I did it that way because uh, otherwise I might have uh, I might have missed a good trading opportunity on the chart. As you see, I'm short with the cable at uh, one point around one point twenty eight forty five, and now I'm gonna place a stop loss order above above the resistance zone at one point twenty eight. 60 so I'll be able to contain eventual price decrease and now let's see what we're going to use for a target because this is something I'm not very certain about I assume that the price will decrease but I'm still not sure what the target will be in this trade so the thing we can do is to measure the average price decreases after the price meets the resistance level here, here, and here. And I can do this with a simple rectangle, which I'm going to paint in gray over here. Now let's draw the other rectangle on the chart, something like this, maybe. Here they are, couple moves. As you see, they're pretty much the same size. So maybe this will be an adequate target for my trade. So now let's apply another rectangle for my target. Then I'm going to do some further measurements. Here it is. All right. I'm going to place the the Fibonacci levels, which are painted in black for some reason. Let's do them yellow. I will try to find some kind of a confirmation of my target or not. Something like that. I wanted to to make point that the end of the target matches with the area around the 61.8 Fibonacci level, but uh, it didn't work, unfortunately. But what I, what I can do is to take the 61.8 Fibonacci level as a minimum target of my trade and uh, the sense in this move is that the 61.8 Fibonacci level is contained by the target which I preliminarily set so the minimum target of my trade is uh, it's like a reasonable move to put it at the 61.8 Fibonacci level because this is the minimum it's not, uh, nothing says that the price will achieve a move as big as the previous two, but uh, at least 61.8% of the previous trend sounds like a reasonable outcome. On the other hand, uh, if we measure the other impulses that led to a price increase, we'll see that the previous price move went Further below the 61.8 Fibonacci level and nearly reached the 100 area, which is like the beginning of the previous trend. And here we're already talking about extensions like the 161.8 for something. For this reason, I will now place my take profit order. Oops, I cancelled my stop loss by mistake. 
no worries everything's under control here it is and I'm going to place my take profit order at the 61.8 Fibonacci level at six at 1.2830 here it is all right now the trade is protected, I have the levels, let's zoom in the chart, or switch to the 5 minute chart to see how things look over there with the breakout. Classical breakout scenario, the price broke the channel in bearish direction, then it created a pullback to the already broken lower level of the channel, and now the price might bounce in bearish direction, uh, initiating the reversal I'm talking about. I have my entry point, my stop loss, and my target. Now let's mark each of these two levels on the chart. Take profit stays at 20, 1.2830. Entry point goes at 1.2845 approximately, which is like a 15 pips target. A little bit more than 0.1%, maybe. And stop loss order goes at 1.2862 approximately. All the previous stops are contained by this stop loss order. So in case the price creates some kind of a volatile sharp move, I hope that the trade will be well protected. I believe so. So I'm trading this 15 pips difference. And now I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back to you later. Uh, to show you how the trade has developed okay guys I'm back about 15 minutes later to show you that the price has already reached my take profit order which instantly triggered uh, my profitable exit from this trade um, as I said this was a classical example of a like a breakout and a bearish impulse caused as a result of the breakout the price broke the channel over here in bearish direction here it is this is the breakout then it returned to the already broken level to test it as a resistance and then it shot down reaching my take profit order at 1.2830 and now let's do the math about what we attained from this trade so I entered at 1.2845 and I traded to 1.2830 which is like 15 pips profit from this trade 15 pips on the British pound American dollar exchange rate are 0 0.0015 we divide this number by 1.2845 which is my entry point and I get a result of 0 0.0016777 and when I multiply this number by 100 I get my percentage profit from this trade 15 pips that equal to 0.12% profit approximately from this trade although 0.12% is not much I remind that this trade took only like less than 15 minutes like I entered the market somewhere over here with this period and then I traded for this one this one and this one over here which was like about 15 minutes maybe even less also the other thing I wanted to show you the Fibonacci numbers again of course notice that the lower candle wick of the price action went exactly in the area of the 61.8 Fibonacci level which means that my approach to this to setting a target in this trading situation was uh, pretty much relevant and correct 
and see that the that the gray rectangle that measures the size of the previous three bearish impulses was not fully reached by the price action it is like for 30 it's like about 10 pips more and this target was not reached I, i'm not saying that the tar this target will not get reached but uh, as i said i'm trading for a minimum target to the 61.8 Fibonacci level because I find this like a more not secure but a more like a reasonable way to approach this trade. So thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from forexbolt.com. Looking forward to see you on the next on the next live forex trading session. Make sure you click the button on the bottom right corner to subscribe. And until our next live forex trading session, I wish you happy and safe forex trading.